want to kind of get into my tips here. Um, I think a lot of people, what holds them back is that they think it's too hard, obviously. I mean, if it were easy, every single person would be doing it. Um, but they think it's too hard to choose proper foods. They think it's too hard to spend money on nutritious foods or they would rather just not think about it. Like, if you don't want to think about it all the time, you're preventing yourself from making any changes that could make you a happier and healthier person. It's about being aware. Again, awareness is key. Awareness is huge. You don't have to eat like fruits and vegetables constantly. You have to just be aware of what you're putting in your body more often than not. So start by swapping out foods. I mean, you don't have to just, like I said, you don't have to go right into, I don't want you to limit anything, but like swap out simple foods. So making simple um, swaps, so like black bean chips instead of potato chips, or um, like add in a couple more fruits and veggies instead of the box of sugary cereal, or choosing a granola with some more natural ingredients than maybe a granola with a ton of extra artificial sweeteners. It's not necessarily about what is the low calorie option. Like yes, calories in, calories out is going to help you lose weight. Like the ratios between the two is gonna help you lose or gain weight. Um, but if you wanna focus on just fueling your body, choose more natural products, choose more natural ingredients. So. Rather than picking a peanut butter that has 20 different ingredients on it, choose one that literally just has peanuts. Um, that's what I've been focusing on a lot more recently is focusing on choosing le like higher quality foods, um, not necessarily the lower calorie options. Um, the other thing is limiting alcohol. So a lot of people, you know, alcohol is one of their biggest setbacks. They go out on the weekends and they lose all their progress because they just drink too much. Have some self-control with how much you're drinking and stop when you know that you shouldn't be drinking anymore. Um, to have one drink instead of two or drink one night instead of three, like simple changes like that can truly make a difference in your health and nutrition goals. Um, remove trigger foods buy or buy them in smaller quantities so if you know something is going to be more of a trigger food and you're not gonna be able to stop eating it or you're gonna want that every single day because it's in your cabinet and it's gonna bother you every single day eliminate it just don't buy it so that I guess I shouldn't say it like that because you can still you can still enjoy those foods but maybe buy them in sm smaller quantities so like the sim single size packets so that you just have one serving or um, only eat it if you're out with a friend or something like that. Like just don't buy them and keep them in your house if you know that it's going to be an issue. Um, focus on taking small steps each day. So they don't have to, you don't have to like change a ton of things at one time. Focus on one thing, one small step and any small step towards a healthier lifestyle is going to be worth it in the end. You're never going to regret trying to live a healthier life. You might regret not trying to, but you will never regret either getting in a workout or like doing something to better yourself and your lifestyle. Um, meal prep. I've talked about this before, but meal prep is huge. If you're busy, choose a simple meal prep. It is not difficult. Most people think it's so hard. It's really not. Choose foods that you enjoy. Choose simple, easy foods to prepare and it will be so much easier to have those foods on hand during the week. Again, educate yourself. I always talk, I already talked about that. Um, and focus on your micronutrients. So if you're not tracking or you're not doing anything like that and you just want to live healthier, then just focus on getting your, your veggie, fruits and veggies in. Focus on your micronutrients and not just like eating whatever. Like you can eat a bunch of sugary foods, but you're not going to benefit your body um, by eating those. So eat healthy sugars like raspberries, strawberries, blueberries, bananas, um, high in potassium, stuff like that. Um, and then, you know, cucumbers are very high volume, zucchini, broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, any fruits and vegetables you can think of. Um, maybe incorporate some more salads, like makes, make food taste good. But also like think about the dressing. So again, another swap you could do is to choose a lower calorie dressing instead of a higher calorie one. Honestly, 
my taste buds have changed so much over the past couple years because I focused on sometimes I've had to force myself to eat things and get used to them but they've also just changed over time because I've added in more fruits and vegetables or more vegetables specifically um, and so now I can eat a good amount of new things that I never would have eaten in the past um, and I'll like I'll have someone else try it and they'll think it's disgusting but I'm telling you if you incorporate some of these other foods and you focus on eating healthier you'll be able to like enjoy a lot more foods that you might never have thought that you would like um, but at some point you may have to kind of force it down like force force yourself to choose healthier options and force yourself to eat those healthier options if you're ever going to try and make some changes you can't just be like okay i don't like any of this so i'm not going to eat it i don't like veggies so what's the point how can you get your veggies in there are ways to get your veggies in there are ways to make them taste good that you will be able to eat them and if it takes a while for you to get to eat to get to the point like i have to cook i still have to cook a majority of my veggies because i don't want to eat them raw um carrots i like eating raw but like sugar snap peas or zucchini or anything like that i gotta cook it so just cook it the way you like season it season it the way you like so that you're able to enjoy it while you're eating it um and then focus on focus on the mindset focus on like how you feel overall focus on eating to feel good and to feel your body rather than just eating to eat so like focus on eating around your workouts if you're working out maybe incorporate some daily walks and stuff like that if you're not currently active start small and then just like food start with small steps and then you can start building on to that um, but focus on like your your hunger signals focus on intuitively knowing when you're full when you're hungry uh, when your body needs food so I've talked about it before but like I get super shaky if I don't if I don't get carbs so I know that if I'm starting to feel a little you know a little lightheaded then I probably need to be eating some carbs um, and I focused a lot more on that the couple the past couple days and it's honestly helped a ton with my energy levels I've been much more energized and I felt much better um, so it's focusing, you'll be able to tell and see how your body responds to certain foods the more you start eating them. Um, and just focus on your internal cues, like I said. So don't eat until you're stuffed. Stop when you're full and satisfied and wait 20 minutes. If you're still, if you're honestly still hungry, then eat something else. But just if you focus on those internal cues, I don't know. Like that's huge for people that are trying to lose weight or make a change because they don't realize that they have that control over their bodies and they have that control over their minds if they just listen to what's going on um, in like in your body. So that was really all over the place. I, I think that the biggest thing I want to get across is that I care so much about this that I want to help other people and sometimes when I talk to people about it it comes across the wrong way and it's it's hard for me to see other people struggling honestly and I just I want to help people the best way possible and if that's if that's just like simple swaps then do simple swaps like you don't have to count macros like I said you don't have to go all out and super re like restrict yourself from so many different things but just small steps each and every day to living a healthier and happier lifestyle um, bake with coconut flour instead of regular flour make more natural ingredient decisions use zucchini lentil pasta or chickpea pasta instead of regular pasta um, anything I mean do some research focus on and do good research don't like look at the good and the bad side of everything don't just read one article and think okay that's what I got to do because it's not necessarily true so you got to kind of read both sides of everything find some good healthy food options um, and know that if anything says that you can get a six-pack in 20 days or you can lose 10 pounds in five days that is not good that is not healthy that is not maintainable and you should not incorporate that into your lifestyle focus on long-term health and focus on giving your body what it needs to function properly so I hope that all made sense um, 
and I'm not sure what my next video will be, but if you guys have any questions, comments, or anything like that below, make sure you, um, you know, do that, and like the video, subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more videos from me, um, let me know what types of videos you would like to see, and that's about it, so I will talk to you guys next time.